Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Index Options for Income. I thought I would start this channel out today by going over what, what is an option. And for that, I'm just going to go over to Investopedia and show you what they say. They give a really good answer to that question. So let's go over there and take a look. And what's an option? I think the main thing you need to know is that options are financial derivatives that give buyers the right, but not the obligation when you buy them, to sell or buy an asset at an agreed price and date. Every option, whether they're calls or puts, have an expiration date. And in fact, the closer it gets to that date, the less that option will be worth on time decay alone, but it can have real value if the price is indeed moved towards it. So I will talk a lot about that in the future. But call and put options, as it says here, they formed a basis for a wide range of option strategies designed for hedging income, speculation, or even generating income. So I don't know that a lot of people realize it, but you use options in your everyday life. Let me give you an example. If you pay, say, $300 a month for car insurance, and maybe you have a $1,000 deductible, you've, in a sense, just bought a put option. As a matter of fact, what do they call the money that you give the insurance company for your car insurance? Well, they call it a premium, right? And if you pay your premium today for six months, six months from now, that will run out. But for the next six months, you will have the right to put to them any kind of loss or damage that you have on your vehicle. So what happens is just like in a put option, you pay 300 bucks. Every day that passes, technically, if they wanted to sell you that option again, they'd have to sell it to you for a little less if it had the same time frame, right? Because if I said I'll sell you car insurance for a month, it's $300. And you said, okay, what if I said I'll sell you car insurance for a week? It's $300. Well, you wouldn't like that very much, would you? The reason being that you want more duration, and we're going to use that term a lot in our option trading. But you pay that $300 premium. After a month, it would go away. And if you don't have an, a claim, guess what? They keep your premium. And that's the same thing I'm going to show you how to do with options for income, where you can be the insurance company, as a matter of fact, and selling people options to say, hey, I will provide you this negotiated price, whether it's I'll pay for it even if it's lower, or I'll take the stock and I'll buy it from you even if, if whether it's higher or not. So we're going to be using that same logic as you paying $300 in premium for insurance. Maybe there's a claim, you pay your deductible, and you get to put the rest of that loss to the insurance company. It'd be very hard to get through everyday life without insurance on your cars, your homes, et cetera. So that is really what options are all about. It's about giving people the a way with some leverage to cover a possible catastrophe. So if you pay $300 this month for your car insurance, they may well be on the hook for $40,000, right? If you wreck your car and the insurance company is going to pay for that. So it's the same thing with, with options on indexes and in stocks. You're going to pay a smaller price for what could be a much larger gain or reward. So we're going to use that same sim, sim, sorry, system that the insurance companies have been using for years, and you'll get to utilize it and try to take home some of that premium. So it's very insurance adjacent. So what is a call, for instance? Well, a call would be an option that you, if you bought, you would buy it at a certain strike price. Let me just give you an example here, and we'll go over that. So you should be seeing here on your screen a TD Ameritrade screen. And with this, we see the December 16th expiration. There's many expirations and all these different strike levels. So we're trading currently at 4020. So if you bought this December 16th 4030 option, it would cost you 
a little over hundred dollars, which in par in options parlance, remember everything's a hundred lot contracts would be over ten thousand dollars. But you would have the right to if if you purchase that, you would have the right to buy SPX at the price of forty thirty until December sixteenth. So even if it went to let's say it goes to forty five or whatever, you would have the right to buy it for less because you paid that premium. Now, if it doesn't get there every day that passes, your option will be losing a little bit of value. Let's take a look at this with the call option just for the start. So if I buy this 4030 option, and let's go over here to what we call the analyze screen, where you can see a graphic and risk profile. You can see a graphic representation of what your PL would be like every day and even at the end. So the light blue line you're seeing, that's where you would be if you took this all the way to expiration. Generally, I don't recommend that. I'd like to see you be out of that before then. But the purple line is where you'd be today if the price moved there, because this can all be calculated in this theoretical analyze screen, and it will be very close, if not spot on, with the actual live decay and price points. So you can see right here under this line, it says theta. Now in options, we have delta, gamma, theta, vega. There's others too. Those are the main ones we'll use. And I just want to talk a little bit about theta here. And that is theta is time decay. So remember I said every day you own an option and it's worth a little less the next day, just on time value because of the example I gave you, remember, with if you bought insurance for a month for $300, you might do that, but you really wouldn't want to buy that same insurance for five days. That's a lot of money. They're not giving you coverage for very long. So every day this option is alive, it's essentially one day closer to its last, December 16th. So it's worth about $185 less just on time decay. Now, can that still work for you? Well, yes, it can. Look what happens if the price goes up. Now, let's say we went to $4,100 today. Well, it's telling you right here, you would be up around $4,800, even though there was some time decay involved. And indeed, what if it was a couple of days from now and we went to $4,100? You'd still make $4,500, a little bit less. Why? Because you had time decay. So that's how call options work when you buy them. You can also sell them. And then you would be on, you know, obligated to provide SPX to them no matter how high it went, which could be problematic if it goes too high, right? We're going to talk about how to make that a lot safer. But on the downside, if SPX went down, remember, you get to keep your premium. So it's all really works out the same in either direction, just whether you're the buyer or you're the seller. And it's the same over here if I did put options. So if I sell the put option, remember, let's, let's start with buying it. So if I buy the put option, then I have the right, but not the obligation, to be able to sell SPX at whatever strike I bought. So if I buy, let's just buy the 4,000 strike. Now we're trading at 4010, but with the 4,000 strike put, if I bought that, no matter how low SPX goes, I get 4,000 for it. I get to sell it at 4,000, no matter how low it goes. Now for that, I'm paying a premium of $96 or about $9,600, right? And every day, same thing that passes, it's worth a little less, but it can be quite, but what if we went out here even around a week or so, folks? And then SPX goes down to say 3,900. You can see here, you'd be up around $4,700, even though there's been time decay every day. So put options allow you to secure a price you can sell a vehicle at no matter how low it goes. And call options secure a price when you buy them that you can sell, you can have someone buy from you, or you can buy from someone rather, this option no matter how high it goes. So remember in our example, 4030, if we bought that call, no matter how high SPX goes, we get to buy it for 40 at the 4030 price point. And if we buy the put, as, this, as in this example, no matter how low it goes, we are able to sell it to someone for 4,000, even though it may be worth significantly less. So that's the basics of how calls and puts work. 
and what calls inputs are. Now, of course, as I said in my original video, this will be a ground up video channel. Next, I will start going into verticals and other type of option spreads so you can see some of the value that you can create and how you can use leverage in your favor to generate more income in your portfolio. So I'm glad you guys are here today. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a great one.